There are plenty of methods, books, um, and we've used those when we've gone into new areas and still have had a hard time duplicating um, what the authors have provided. It's so difficult to understand what's really going on when you're simply reading a description. So many things in science and journals uh, get buried in the methods and you don't really know how things are done. Having to write out in words the way to do the procedures we demonstrated today would have been you know, very difficult and I think hard for other scientists to really understand exactly how to make the procedure work. Tori, oftentimes with complex procedures it's very difficult to think about it in your mind and how to reproduce the work. So having the actual video where you see somebody who's familiar with the technique actually performing it goes a long way towards making it repeatable in your own lab. I think both from an archival point of view, but also for imparting sort of knowledge to incoming students and postdocs, in, especially in our project, I think it's a very good thing because it's an excellent tool for training new graduate students and new staff members. So the video really helps us learn to do manually the techniques. Without it, you are relying entirely on written descriptions of techniques, or you have to go visit somebody else's lab. Yes, I would recommend Jove to my colleagues. I would definitely recommend Jove to all my colleagues. I would love to recommend Jove, and I do recommend Jove to my colleagues.